I'm Alison Carthy. Uh, I live in Home Firth and I'm a textile artist working with textiles and mixed media. This project is about COVID. I wanted to make something about the experience that we're all going through and express that as a timeline. And I also wanted to make sure that I made something with the materials I got around my studio because that's part of being locked down. So I came up with this idea of knitting the bandages, which alludes to the old fashioned crepe bandage that's been used forever. And it's just got the same kind of texture. And I've made that by spinning some locally raised sheep fleece. And so I've just been knitting since March last year. It starts off with just simple mending because we thought we could fix it and it would be all right. And then it reflects the nature walks. We all went out for walks because that was all we could do and we really enjoyed the wonderful spring. And still it didn't go away. And then we've got the eat out to help out, which was sort of a marker in the middle of last year. So and then it just escalated and that's how I've shown it on the bandages and I've tried to echo the shape of the virus and the different colours reflect the different variants that we keep getting. So the colours change as it goes through. And then I finished it. Well, I've stopped knitting, not finished it. I've stopped knitting when I got my second jab because that to some extent frees me of the bondage of the bandage, hopefully. Um, but it's still on the needles because the danger hasn't gone away. I'm interested in the value of craft techniques and the way that helps people through difficult periods. And the knitting and the stitching is a very meditative process. So it gives you time to think things through, but you're actually doing something and it has a calming effect somehow instead of getting all wound up. So that was another element to the project really in that I wanted to use those kind of techniques because they were good for me and it's an illustration of how those techniques can be used. Yeah, and if it was getting awful, I would sit down and do some knitting. <laughs>